Welcome to this short demonstration of the new foundation design module in Struzoft Femme Design version 12. First, we define our soil. You can define different soil materials. You can define the color as well. I'll just select maybe this color. And this, if you double click, you can make your own materials new. So let's say maybe if it's undrained, you need to fill in the values, drained, or both, then you need to fill in all the values and create your unique name for the material. I'll just select the clay value here and click OK. So I need to draw it as it looks the, a lot the same like all our other modules, but always when you define the soil draw a bigger area than the structure. So I zoom in here, leave my marker here and click F12 and give relative coordinates to this point. So I'll see minus one point minus one. And I'll zoom here and one point one. Like this. Okay. Now the soil is defined. In the corner here you see the boreholes. It is like this you can always add more boreholes to the to the soil. You can also change the properties of one borehole. And by this I mean you can change the water level if you want, minus five. Then you can make different water levels and you can uh, enter you can put in all the boreholes you want. You can also change the foundation level so it um, it varies over the cross section. So now we need to go to our new foundations. Um, we have isolated, we have wall foundations, and we have foundation slabs. So under the walls, of course, I will use the wall foundation. Enter the default settings here. There are different uh, analytical systems. You can calculate it as a surface support group or a line support group. In this example, I will use the line support groups. Please pay attention to this, the bending modulus of the wall foundation. I'll select, yeah, maybe 600 times 1000. End conditions. In both ends of the foundation, I need it to be hinged. Material, let's say concrete 25, let's say OK. Of course, you need to adjust these partial safety factors. So right now, it's starting point. I'll just draw the foundation here, like drawing a beam. So if we go to see it in uh, 3D, I'll just hide this, we can see how the foundation looks now and where it's placed. Underneath the columns I'll add an uh, isolated foundation and here I'll make it as a point support group Okay, and I need to define the geometry. I need to define the thickness first of all, but also the width. So I'll use the F12 again. I'll make a foundation that's one times one. Like this. And then it asks for a connection point and I'll select the bottom of the column. The other foundation I'll do quite differently. I will change in general settings so it will be a surface support group. So, but basically I will draw it the same way. Like this. And uh, again, enter a connection point. So you can see the difference. This is changed to be a point support group. And this is changed to be a surface support group. <coughs> 
It's very important when you do this that you check that the analytical part of the support is placed in the foundation depth. So I'm done here um, adding the soil and supports. So I will go to analysis and foundation design. You can still see all your old uh, results, the displacements of course, and of course also the reaction forces, calculated according to the stiffness of the foundation that we gave earlier. You can see here you get the point reaction, and here you get the surface uh, support group reaction. If we go to the foundation design, there is something we need to configure. So we go to configuration. In the Danish National Annex, which I've selected here, we use method 3. We need to define the safety factors here, and need to define which load combinations we want the software to use for geotechnical uh, calculations. So I'll create this as a geotechnical load combination. You can, of course, select more than one. Settlements. The program selects, uh, checks for the settlements in between the points. You can ch you can put in your um, your maximum limit values here. So I'll go to the calculator and I'll ask it to check all structural elements. I'll go to the utilization results for isolated foundation. Let's see for maximum. We can enter the detailed results just like for the steel. And we need to select the load combination here. And you can see all the detailed results from this calculation. So it checks for both uh, bearing and sliding. And of course, you can add this to your documentation module. And in the documentation module, it looks like this. So the same is done by uh, done with the wall foundations. And we can see, go into the detail results. and we can see the utilization here for both the bearing and the sliding and again of course export it to the documentation module the deflection the displacement of the foundation uh, is quite new if we click here we can check the, the different settlements between the different points here and we can add more points if we want to. So we can see how much is utilized according to our um, our limited values. Please notice that settlements must be according to uh, surface limit states. So you must have a surface limit state to do this calculation. So that was a short demonstration. Thank you for watching.